So just a recap on what happened at Monte Carlo for Djokovic. It was a decent tournament for Djokovic. He wasn't playing his best, but he got some valuable match play. However, it would have been nice to see him go all the way because he was on the road to Triple Golden Masters. Not meant to be, but Monte Carlo is not the end destination for Djokovic. And it's just good to see that he's actually reaching his desired level to at least some point where we can actually recognize his level of play. A lot better than Indian Wells and that horrific Lucanati result. The dream is over until 2025. I wouldn't call it a dream. I would call it a great achievement, but it's not really. He's already won it twice, like whatever. He has also extended his week's number one record to 425 weeks, roughly he can't lose it up until the start of Roland Garros. Additionally, I like to touch on Kasper Ruud. Played a solid game. He almost lost it at the end. He perhaps was gifted by a lot of unforced errors by Djokovic, but he held his nerve and we'll see how he goes against Tsitsipas. I did not make a video in regards to the semifinals prior to it happening, but for what it's worth, I did predict Tsitsipas and Djokovic to win. So 50% correct there. I had a feeling that Tsitsipas would beat Sinner. He's just playing very good tennis and perhaps he wasn't on track to win up until that crowd ramping but that's tennis and Tsitsipas to be honest has been the better player throughout the week in Monte Carlo so I would expect him to beat Kasper Ruud and we'll see what happens. Moving on this is the point I want to make for Djokovic upcoming is the Madrid Open we are not sure if he is going to play he is in the entry list which I'll show in a moment here we go Djokovic is in the entry list followed by all the players I'm pretty sure I'm not sure anyone else is not in it Nadal's even in it everyone's pretty much entered as long as they're fit unlike Monte Carlo which a lot of Americans skip because of the Houston tournament it'll be a great tournament of course it's quite different to the other tournaments because it's high altitude different bounce it's not too similar to Roland Garros so the preparation is not the best but it's still a great tournament another chance to show yourself out and get a thousand points it's a big Masters tournament and it's the clay season because in my opinion the clay season has the best masters tournaments and we'll see he is on the entry list but the point i'm trying to make is that he hasn't played last year and the year before he did play but he has often skipped it he skipped it as well in 2021 we'll see if he plays but personally i do believe he will because a he's entered which he always does enter so that's not the biggest tip but however i'm not sure if you saw it before but the spoiler is that he is in the laureus men's sports awards and he's probably the favorite to win it where's it being held in madrid the day or like the week of it starting 22nd of april April. so is that a monday night pretty weird date to have an awards night 22nd of april in madrid and you got these six players or sports people Djokovic Mondo Duplantis haven't heard of him I'll be honest Erling Haaland Noah Lyles Messi and Verstappen it should be Djokovic it might be Verstappen if they're going to go with just his dominance but I just have a problem picking an F1 driver for a sports person award nothing against Formula 1 but it's in its own category Formula 1 that's a motorsport not a proper sport sorry if I triggered some Formula 1 fans but Djokovic is deserving of winning this award he this of course is based on last year what is Messi doing there he didn't win anything last Last year, well, he won a league one for PSG and maybe a cup. Not even they lost the cup. I'm pretty sure he won a cup in the MLS. What is he doing there? That's disgraceful. I don't even care if I'm triggering Messi fans because that's a disgrace. He's just still reaping the rewards of something that happened two years ago. Djokovic deserves it. He won three Grand Slams, two Masters, ATP Finals, World Number One, Year Number One, made all four Slam Finals. He was the best athlete in 2023, and it's based off 2023 alone. So it needs to be Djokovic. Moving on, Nadal. He has said he's going to play in the Barcelona Open. He has drawn Koboli in the first round of the tournament, an Italian professional tennis player with a career high of world number 62. Nadal has still said that he is waiting to see up until Tuesday if he will play, but unlike Monte Carlo, he has declared himself in the draw and has not pulled out before the draw has happened. He's using his protected ranking to enter, obviously, and will await Dimonor in the second round, you believe. Interesting fact, Nadal did beat Andre Rublev 6-1 in a practice set in Barcelona, which are ominous signs for not only Rublev fans, but Nadal. And perhaps he is reaching some level of consistency and some level of play, which he can actually compete for these tournaments. We'll see what happens, but a tough draw, considering that he hasn't played in a long time. Obviously, he needs to play a first round, a second round, perhaps Arthur Thiel's in the third round. Umbe, it's not easy. Winnable matches, but going to have to be Carlos Alcaraz, 
potentially in the semi-final and then Rublev or Hachanov or Rude in the final we'll see what happens long way until it happens he might even call out before we'll see how it happens how it goes it's an interesting time in the clay season Djokovic fans are upset that he lost in Monte Carlo Nadal fans are happy that he's playing in Barcelona Rude and Sitsipas fans are happy that they're in the Monte Carlo final Alcaraz fans are potentially looking forward to him playing in Barcelona and Sina fans perhaps a bit angry with Sinner's result last night considering the cramps and the fact that he says Madrid is not his goal. He doesn't expect to win all too much in Madrid and he's targeting good performances in Rome and Paris. So that's it. A bit of a catch up on the events of Monte Carlo and the clay season news. Let me know if you believe Djokovic will play in Madrid and whether Nadal will play in Barcelona. And also let me know in the comments down below if you believe that Djokovic deserves to win the Laureus Men's Sports Award. Until next time.